Chris Shea here and welcome back to another video. Now, if you've been working on a project in Premiere Pro and then you go to export it and it takes forever and you're forced to wait until it's done before you can work on another video, with some projects an export can take hours and sometimes you have other things to work on. Well, I have some fantastic news for you. You don't have to wait anymore. I'm gonna show you how you can work on a different project in Premiere Pro as your video is exporting. It's easy, let's go. So when we're getting ready to export our project, the very first thing that you want to do is make sure that your timeline is named something that you're going to know what it is. And right after that, what you want to do is go ahead and save your project. So just, you know, go ahead and save that. That's a very important step. And then instead of going to file and export like we normally would, we're going to do something different. So we're going to go over to Media Encoder. Pop that up hit the plus sign, and then we're going to actually use the project file. So work while exporting, I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And then it brings us to a list here with all of the contents of our project. And this one I've named my timeline, main timeline, but you can also do individual nests if you wanna export those separately. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit import on that. And then from there we have all of our options here. So H.264 is the basic one that I have set up, but you can set up all of your, these are your quick options. The arrows down are your quick options. So here, you know, high bit rate and all that. But let's say if you want to get more detailed, you just click on the blue part and then it pulls up the regular menu like you would go to export. So you have all of the same options. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit okay. And then over here, you can change where it's saved to. Okay, that's that's great. That's where I want it. And then when you're ready, you just go ahead and press play. What we can do now, as you can see right away, is that I can still access this file. I can open up another one if I wanted to. Go to sample project and open that up. And check this out. This is still going. And now I have two different projects open and I can continue working and I don't have to worry about having to wait around. So there you go. I hope that I just saved you guys tons and tons of time. I am on a mission to share all of my tips and tricks with you so you can rock your creative world. If you like this, there is plenty more coming, so stay tuned. Share this with a friend too while you're at it. Well, thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Take care.